What is one thing that my church could do with digital ministry this week that would be a game changer? Oh, um, say hello to people when they log in, whether it's on Zoom, say hi to them by name or in the live chat, respond and say hi. Good. Number two, what is a trend for social media and digital ministry that we should be paying more attention to? Uh, probably TikTok because it, whether we like where it com- anything about it, it has probably the currently the smartest algorithm in that I've seen on the internet. So at least pay attention to it. Or maybe in general, short form vertical video content is the larger trend there. Mm, good, good. All right, number three, what are one or two ways that we can be more authentic online with our digital ministry? Oh, uh, do it more consistently. I think when you do it just once or twice, you get, you're get you in your nerves. Like if you only preach once, you're gonna feel like, ah, oh, but once you start doing it you know, 50 times, you get just more authentic and more natural. So don't. the only way to get from A to Z is to start A, B, C, D, E. You gotta just go through the whole alphabet. Good. Number four. What's the difference between church online and online church? Oh, I didn't, I can't, how can I answer this shortly? Oh, uh, no. this was, this was, this was <laughs> deeply. Okay, um, online church, or church online is telling me where church is happening today, but online church tells me what kind of church it is. Did I get that right? I always flip this around. The point being, are we simply talking about where church is happening or how church is happening? I think it's a subtle difference, but leads to a big implication. So what should we say, online church? I think we should say online church because it's the type of church. It's not just the location. It's it's uh, doing church online means I take the way the way I've always done church and I just replicate it online. To do online church means we are going to let it grow naturally out of this context and container and what needs to be the the unique aspects for this specific space. Good. Really, the point is just think intentionally about what you're doing and where it's coming from. Good. All right, last one. What's your favorite or go-to social media platform that you see the most impact on? Oh, most, that's a, that's a really hard one. Um, probably YouTube because the ability to have short form, long form content, I think it's got a longer lifespan. So it's not the ebbs and flows of the current TikTok world. Um, yeah, I'd say, I'd say YouTube has the ability to have diversity of content <clears throat> and cultivate community pretty well. All right. Bonus one for you. Uh, where do you see us going? Like what is the next iteration of the internet, church, church online, online church. Uh, where where should we be looking to in the next five to 10 years? Uh, well, I think we need to pay attention to whatever Mark Zuckerberg and company are doing with VR. Mm. Uh, mm. They, have, they have some interesting rationale for the, the ability to improve and increase presence among people in online spaces. And I'm just paying attention to what that could be. Although I think in the way that three to five years ago, talking about doing church online, online church, any of this stuff, live streaming hybrid, got kind of funny looks from people. I think that's what VR is getting now. Like, oh, I thought we just got used to live streaming. Now I have to do VR. So I think we're not there, but I think that's the thing to pay attention to. Uh, and I think it's important to pay attention to, are we simply you know, producing content for consumption or are we actually cultivating community? That was a lot of alliteration in there. It was, it was, you did well. Um, so I agree with you. I've been asked that a lot in the workshops and, and breakouts and stuff I've led at conferences is where are we going? What is the next thing to look for? And that's my answer too. I think it's VR. Um, I'm, I've had a uh, DJ Soto. I, I just interviewed him and what they're at VR church and just kind of learning uh, about that and Oculus headsets and, and all that. And it, interesting at VR church, they have volunteer teams that create their world creation teams. <laughs> so their their job as a volunteer team is to create, you know, a big ship or huge water elements that when the sermon starts, the water starts flowing in, or there's a big boat over here that I can turn and look at, <laughs> like things like that, like actually wow. interactive elements. Wow. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. That's, I think imp- that's impressive. Uh, that, that's that's a whole new altar guild right there. Yeah, I, I, exactly. Well, I know that like Life Church, Elevation, and others are doing VR, but it's more watching the pastor yes. on the screen. It's DJ just has like a, a different. Campus. That's yeah. right. Well, the, DJ has a different point of view on that. He mentioned like, why would I watch? Why don't I just watch it on my computer? Like, why am I going to be in VR watching? Why not make it interactive? What VR exactly. is intended to be, and I, I totally exactly. agree with that. I think it's very interesting. So that's that's where I'm watching. 
Uh, well, man, great ideas. I loved diving into your YouTube channel. Uh, tell us where we can find that, how we can check you out. Uh, YouTube channel is youtube.com slash digital minister. Uh, you can find that link and all other things I do at jimkeat.com, J-I-M-K-E-A-T.com. And then Riverside's website is trcnyc.org. And there's awesome. all sorts of good stuff on all those Well, places. if we see an Airstream driving around, we might think <laughs> it's you. You might. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the time, man. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks so much.